You ever do DMT? Sorry to disappoint you, I've, or maybe happy to appoint you. I've never done the spirit molecule, DMT. Isn't that the chemical that floods your brain when you're about to die, yet you're bald? I know, I'm a bald free thinker, and yet I've never done DMT. We're, we're not all the same, okay? Honestly, I don't think I need to do DMT, just because I, I get enough fulfillment from my nootropic stack anyway. You're like my Joe Rogan. Don't, don't put that on me. I'm just a guy, okay? I'm not even out here asking questions. I'm like the opposite of that. I'm a guy, I'm just out here telling stories. About Norbit, predominantly. I have about the same level of uh, scientific literacy as Joe Rogan, though. For example, what, what's some of my favorite uh, pseudoscientific takes from me? A, a large Coke Zero from McDonald's is actually healthy for you. I, if you're thirsty and you drink a large Coke Zero from McDonald's, I ask you to simply drink it and then tell me it wasn't good for you. Drink the whole thing, feel how good that large Coke Zero makes you feel, and then look me in the eyes and tell me it's junk food. There's some, I'm, I don't think soda is good for you, but something about a, a large fountain Coke Zero from McDonald's, it's a performance enhancing drug. It is, it's a large health potion from Diablo 2. This is how doctors ended up prescribing cocaine. I'm just gonna say it again. I can say this because I'm not a scientist and I'm just asking questions. Maybe medicine was better when people were getting prescribed like cocaine and heroin and cough medicine had alcohol in it. Cause now like we have incredible medicine, but it's almost impossible to get because it can all be turned into uh, illicit narcotics with like seven extra ingredients you can just find online and a two liter Sprite bottle. So like, I can't even take the good medicine anymore because it, people can turn it into bad drugs. I feel like maybe it was better when you could just go to an old timey Freddy Farkas frontier pharmacist and some guy would just mix you like a, a tonic in the back that, cause like, okay, cause I've gone too far with this. But that being said, isn't like, like cough syrup doesn't cure your cold. It just treats your symptoms until you're better, right? It's basically like the cough medicine is like a distraction. It has a little cough suppressant in it and then it kind of spaces you out so you can sleep. Would it be so bad if we just had a, a mixologist pharmacist who was back there with the, uh, you know, horse tranquilizer and <laughs> root beer? <laughs> Maybe, maybe, I guess. I kind of, I miss the tinctures, man. I say I miss them. I was not alive in um, the American, uh, the frontier, like the, you know, Wild West days. But if I was, man, I would be getting tinctures for sure. Now, excuse me. What, what, didn't, weren't pharmacists barbers or something like that back in the day too? Excuse me, Mr. Barber. I have had a particularly malevolent bout of diarrhea. Could you please provide a tincture for me so I can stop breaching my breaches? I would totally fit it. Dude, I would have crushed it in the Old West. Just kidding, obviously. What percent, it, maybe you can find data for this online. What percentage of people in the Old West died of murder? Or like, you know, dueling, gunfights, etc, etc. I don't think it was at like 10%, but do you think 5% of people in the Old West died from like a gunfight at high noon in the center of town? Like 5% is still really high. 